Hey, what is up guys? This is Nathan. I'm in my basement with my lava lamp and we are playing Harvest Moon for Super Nintendo. And, uh, yeah, a couple of things to talk about today. First off, well, let me uh, talk to you after I take care of the animals, but I uh, want to make sure to hold my baby today. Maybe it's just superstition, but I'll explain that more in detail later. So, uh, yeah, provided I got the right tools, I'm going to go brush some cows. Uh, yes, okay, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of lag here in the chicken barn, chicken coop even. But we'll take this egg to our wife and go about our daily business, make Ellen hate us. Yeah, you know the drill. Uh, then we'll water crops and plant some grass. Yeah. Do, 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 do. There you go, wife. Okay. Um, let's see, we should be... We're getting close to being pretty good on turnips as far as our max score that we want. Um, yeah, we should be filled up with turnips here pretty soon. I'm, I'm guessing maybe one more harvest, possibly less than one harvest. So after I, after the potatoes are ready, I need to figure that up and make extra absolute certain for sure. Uh, which actually, potatoes should be ready. Hmm, are they ready today? I don't know, I suppose I can harvest them tomorrow if they are, but... We'll, uh, we'll check it out and see, at least. Yeah, so, um... One of the things I did want to talk about today, um... I don't know if you guys have been watching the news. It's kind of something that's been heavy on my mind lately. Um, uh, if you have been watching and paying attention to the stories, um... Then there... There's a man, uh, in, in, living in Iran... His name is Yosef, not Arkani. It's like, you know, our name, Joseph, but his name is Yosef. And uh, Yosef is a Christian minister over in Iran, and uh, he converted, actually, from Islam to Christianity when he was, like, 19 years old or something like that. And um, if you've been watching the news, like, he was arrested. He's, like, 30-something now. He was arrested in 2009, I believe. Um, yeah, he was arrested in 2009 for converting to Christianity, um, and actually, as of right now, he's being, um, or he has been in the past few years, he's been tried, uh, for his conversion, and, um, anyway, just, it's just recently come out in the news, like, very recent, like, today, I think, might have been the first day for it, that he, uh, he is now, um, like, they've given him his final sentence, and his final sentence is execution, and so the guy is actually going to be killed, uh, for being a Christian, um, and, you know, there's a lot of political stuff going on, like, with all the stuff with Iran right now, they're being mad at us for everything that, uh, you know, for, like, putting you know, economic pressure on them and stuff because of the nuclear uh, issues. Anyway, a lot of stuff going on, probably a lot of things affecting it, but uh, it's just really been bothering me that that has happened and that that would happen and just that, you know, the man is going to be killed just because of his faith. And, you know, I mean, I, I believe that, obviously, being a, being a Christian, I believe that, but... Even if you're not, you know, a strong Christian, you know, I would think this this would still bother you. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of non-Christian people are still really have a lot of trouble with this. And, you know, that makes sense because this is this is a really terrible thing to happen. Um, So, yeah, I just, that's been bothering me. So, um, I just wanted to bring that up and let you guys be aware, if you did not know of it, and tell you that, uh, if you know, if you pray, if you, if you, if you have any faith at all, you know, I'd encourage you to pray about that and, if you normally don't pray about stuff, maybe that's a good place to start. Um, just, you know, pray for his safety and, you know, maybe there's a way out of it somehow. And for his family, he's got, a, like, a wife and two kids. And it's just, you know, a really hard situation, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's something very, uh, very frustrating. Now let me turn off my lamp here so I can see. That's better. Anyway, and that's something that has been kind of bothering me um, this afternoon. So just to let you guys know and be aware of it. Um, yeah. So remember, uh, Yosef Nadarkani. Um, let's see, we're going to run out of energy here pretty soon. And there we go. So I will go and take a bath, and I will be back here pretty soon. But I don't like to cut it until I'm actually at this sequence right now. Okay, I am back. Um, yeah, I still got grass. Okay. Um... So, yeah. 
something I was going to say, and I don't remember what. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna try to get this big area in here, and uh, hopefully that will be. Yeah, if I can get all this, then maybe that will be a, that'll be a good stopping point for the night. Uh, yeah. So, hope you guys have been good. I'm doing fine. Got an easy week at work this week, so things are going pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's a reason I didn't actually have a video up uh, yesterday, if you're watching and keeping up with these like as I release them. Um, there's a very, very good reason why I didn't have a video. But that's the uh, second thing I was going to talk about, and uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that tomorrow, because I figure I'll try to get in two days on this episode. Um, you know, I figured that'd be good. Two days, two topics to talk about. So, yeah, it's not anything, like, bad or anything. It's nothing that can't be handled or taken care of. But, uh, just wanted to, uh, yeah. Just wanted to make you guys aware of something that's going on behind the scenes. Not a big deal. Just with the game and the LP and all. Um, and get this. You know, we still got grass, I think. No! That was perfect! Wow! So, yeah, we're just gonna have to buy more grass now, but I'll wait until another episode to do that, because... I'll buy it off-screen, uh, because it'll take forever. Well, sweet. Good dog. Um, I better get my other tools. And really, I guess really, wow, that's most of it. We're not going to need that much more. I mean, we're still going to need a lot of grass. We're not ne going to need that much more grass to get it, uh, all finished up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably be able to get in. Yeah, we'll be able to get in three days. Shoot, dang. It's crazy. Three whole days in, like, less than 30 minutes. Let's go to bed. Okay. Are we going to get any rain? Because we're going to plant some stuff today. It'd be nice to... Okay, whatever. I don't even care anymore. I don't care. Hey, look! Our other baby is crawling! Guys, we have a crawling baby! And he says, boo-boo! And da, whereas our other baby says boo boo, and da da. Ha <laughs> ha. Our wife should say something about it. He is crawling now, yay! And that's all she'll say today, I think. She's so happy and excited. Oh, and I'm happy too. Yes, you're such a good baby. Say da. Say da. Say it. There we go. Da da. That's the wrong baby. Okay. Whatever. Everything will work out just fine. So, I am going to go and take care of the animals. And I will be right back in just a second. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, our chickens are getting a little bit out of control there. But they're still manageable. Uh, let's take this to our wife. And I believe today we are going to have some potatoes ready. We should be anyway. Should have them anyway. So we may go ahead and go to the floor shop and buy up... Yay! Go ahead and buy up some uh, seed and get ready to plant it. What's today? Tuesday. Oh, hold up. While I got the game paused, let me think. Should we... Um, should we harvest the crops to make sure we can get them all in, then go and buy stuff tomorrow and get it all planted and going, or should we buy it today, plant it as much as we can? It's going to be the same either way. Hmm. Okay. Let's just go ahead and harvest today, huh? Harvest as much as we can, and uh, we'll probably plant tomorrow and make Ellen hate us more. Um, sounds good to me. And then I can check scores and record scores after this episode um, to see how many more potatoes and turnips and stuff I need. Plan accordingly. Yes, sir. -y. So, speaking of which, about that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is something weird is going on with our scores, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, I checked scores after the last episode, you know, just just looking, not even to rec not to record them down or anything. I just well, I was just curious, so I checked scores. I had time to do it. So, um, and this is part of the reason I didn't make a video yesterday is because I kind of got busy and had other stuff and. Then I was just like, you know what, I just, I don't even care. I'm, I'm tired and I'm frustrated with the game anyway, so I'm not going to do it. So, but I was a little frustrated because for some reason, and unbeknownst to me, and apparently unbeknownst to even, like, the Harvest Moon Paradise 
um, guide, which is like the most extensive Harvest Moon guide I've ever seen in my life, um, for some reason our happiness score is dropping. And I got no clue, like no clue, got no clue at all why that is. Um, like our happiness score was 999. It's been 999 before. And before I, I didn't pay any attention to it, it actually dropped down to like 969. And then it went back up to 999 from various things happening. And I'm not sure exactly what caused it to drop then, and it wasn't a big deal until, you know, yesterday when I checked it. Our Ranch Master score, or our happiness score, had dropped down to like 700 and something. Which means, you know, the endings at the end of the game that you achieve, we had actually lost an ending because of that. Um, which was kind of disturbing to me, because um, I had no clue why that was going on. But, uh, yeah, I want to see how much money we made here. Come on. Come on. Well, it looks a lot darker than normal. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it's just because all the grass around. Anyway, um, it is pretty frustrating uh, that for some reason it's dropping. I don't know why, and I've only been able to make like wild guesses at why. Um, because I, I went back and I double checked um, the guide on Harvest Moon Paradise. And uh, according to that guide, our happiness score really should not have been dropping, because the only kind of things that can make your happiness score drop is, like, when you sell animals or when they die and stuff like that. Fish. And look, now both of our babies are sleeping in their beds, all cute. Cute little babies. Okay, let's go to bed. But anyway, um, yeah, so for some reason our happiness score has been dropping, and I'll give you my theories about that later. But that will be after I take care of the animals. Yeah. What is today, anyway? 15th of spring. Wow, we're halfway through the season and we're doing good. Ta da! Boo boo! Do my best today. Okay. Brush, no. Brush, there we go. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And, uh, yeah, so our happiness score dropped somehow more than 200 points, and it is a mystery to me. Um, my only guess is that there is something in the game I've been doing or not been doing that, um, that, that is affecting, that affects your happiness score that, um, that I, I'm unaware of, because on the Harvest Moon uh, Paradise Guide, which is done by a guy named Admiral, and it's so... I mean, guys, I can't emphasize enough how incredibly in-depth that guide is if you haven't looked at it yet. But um, my guess is maybe he forgot something or he left something off. I'm not entirely sure. And I've been racking my brain trying to figure out, you know, what it is and that the guy would have left off. And, um... I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's um, coming in late. I don't really think that it is. I'm wondering if maybe it's interacting with our baby. Every day we don't hold our child, maybe we lose happiness or something. I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm confused about it. But um, it's not a big deal. I'm going to buy these real quick, and I will be right back. Um, going to buy, like, several of each, and I'll cut this out. So be right back. Okay, I am back. And, um, yeah. So, anyway... Uh, let's go about our normal business for the days. Anyway, um, I'm not really worried about the happiness score. Um, I'm going to keep, like, I'm going to start, and well, now I can't pick up my baby anymore because, you know, he's old enough that he's crawling now. So, um, really, guys, I'm just going to, I'm going to go through the game and I'm going to keep talking to my wife and kids, you know, and, uh, hope it's not just some sort of, like, problem and glitch with the game. I, d I don't really think that it would be, but, um, anyway... I'm going to go about, you know, normal routine, and I'm not worried about too much, because um, our anniversary on the game is on summer 25th, which is like five days before the parents come and visit, and, um, anyway, it's like five days before the parents come and visit. I think we can get one more gift to Ellen, or one more bad gift to Ellen. Like right before the parents come and visit is our anniversary, and we can absolutely max our happiness score out the wazoo at our anniversary. We have the option and the ability to do that. Um, every time you give a gift to your wife on anniversary, if you missed the last episode where we did that, you gain 30 affection points, um, or 30 points to your happiness score for giving her a gift on, on your anniversary. So that's what we will do. Um, 
anniversary this year, and so our happiness score, while it's something just I'm kind of confused about, it's not something that, um, it's not something that I'm really worried about, because any damage done to it, even though we've had like 200 points lost on it, you know, we're going to make up some of that between now and the end of the game, and also we can uh, definitely, um, we can definitely make up for it with our anniversary coming up. Um, yeah, so also, uh, I'm going to take just a couple of flowers to Eve, or not, yeah, Eve, before we uh, call it a night. And then I will check scores and write them down and everything, and everything will be right with the world, and hopefully maybe, I, I don't even know what happened. And so, wait, no, wait, I have a theory, but it will require me checking scores, and I'll tell you my theory afterwards. Because what I did this past time, when I um, when I checked scores, I actually saved and went to bed, and woke up the next day. Um, so I saved and went to bed and woke up the next day, and then um, I went to bed again, but I did not save, and I did the trick then. So when I do that, um, actually my cow affection, my cow's affection scores have dropped too. So this is just my curiosity taking over. When I did that, my cows would not have, when I got my score, it would have been my score without my, with my cows having missed a feeding. And I think maybe when you forget to feed your cows, or when, I, and I know when you, when you sell your cows or when a cow dies or when a cow gets sick, um, it definitely drops your happiness score. Um, actually, I'm not sure about your cows getting sick, but like when a cow dies. So maybe when a cow gets sick or when you forget to feed them, it'll drop your happiness score too. So yeah, I, have to, I wonder if that's it. I will just check immediately. I'll go to, I'll check as soon as I go to bed on this game. And, um, and I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that. So I wonder, that's still 200 points is a long way to drop it. I don't know. I'll see once we uh, once we get going or here after this episode, and I'll let you guys know next time. Well, I hope some of that actually made uh, actually made sense. Yeah. So, I think that's a pretty good, pretty full episode. So, guys, we are still going to get over 900 Ranch Master score. Nothing to worry about. We will take care of things. Uh, everything is just going to be peachy. So, friends, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, Please stick with it. Um, we are almost done with the game, and yeah, it's going to be wonderful to get that score and see those great endings and, and all that stuff. Oh, wait. No, we're not done yet. we got to plant stuff. Okay. I do want to get it planted as soon as possible in case I need like another uh, another harvest of potatoes. I don't think I'm going to need another harvest. I know I'm not going to need another harvest of turnips, but just in case I need more potatoes, let's uh, let's go ahead and get this planted and watered for the night, shall we? I'll do potatoes up top, because they're going to last longer. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So, there's no point in you guys seeing this. So, friends, thank you very much for watching. Um, please, if you have not already, like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Um, go over and see my friends at HarvestMoonParadise.com. Um, they are still a wonderful, wonderful site for checking uh, or for you know how to how to play any harvest moon game and how to do well on any harvest moon game there are numerous knowledgeable people over there on the site on the forum um even if the specific things are not written down there are lots of people there who know so uh guys thanks a lot um until next time uh pray for joseph nardarkani and i will see you guys later goodbye